Are you tired of random FPS drops and lag ruining your CS2 matches? Well today I'm revealing the secret settings pro players use to get max FPS and zero stutters, from hidden power tweaks to advanced CPU boosts. This is the ultimate CS2 performance guide you don't want to miss, so let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Adjusting Windows Power Throttling Settings for CS2 If you're playing CS2 on a budget PC, you want your computer to give you the best performance that it possibly can. One of the things that can slow your computer down is a setting called Power Throttling. To begin, press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard together. A small window called the Run dialog will appear on your screen. Inside that Run dialog box, type gpedit.msc and then press the Enter key on your keyboard. This will open a window that is called the Local Group Policy Editor. On the left-hand side of this window, you need to go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System. Now scroll down the list on the right-hand side and find a folder that is named Power Management and click on it once. Inside that Power Management folder, find the section called Power Throttling Settings and double-click on it. A new box will now appear. Inside this new box, look for the setting that says Turn Off Power Throttling and double-click on it. Another smaller window will now open. In this smaller window, you need to select Enabled. This will fully turn off power throttling so your CPU will always run at full power and will not be slowed down by background battery saving limits. After doing that, click on the Apply button, then click OK, and then close all the windows that were opened. This step works on both Windows 10 and Windows 11 without any problem. Turning off power throttling helps your computer run much better and much smoother when you are playing CS2. Step 2. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, you will learn how to get the best performance from your CPU using a program called Park Control. First, download and install the Park Control program, then open it. When it opens, scroll through the settings and choose a performance profile. Select the one called Bitsum Highest Performance so that your CPU can give the best performance possible. Now check that the following settings are all turned off and set to 100%. Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC, and Frequency Scaling DC. Next, look for a setting named Bitsum Dynamic Boost, and make sure this setting is turned on. This feature lets your CPU save power when doing light tasks like web browsing, but gives full power when gaming. Now go to your computer's power options and select Bitsum Highest Performance. Also, make sure that all the power settings under this profile are set to 100% for maximum performance. Finally, click the button called Make Active and then press Apply to save everything you changed. Step 3. Use the MSI utility to optimize hardware performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Another great tool that helps boost your PC's performance is the MSI utility. This tool helps reduce latency and makes your hardware work more smoothly. Once you have downloaded the file, open the program and look at the list of hardware devices shown. Find your graphics card, GPU, in the list. Then check the box under the MSI column for it. Next, change the interrupt priority setting for your GPU to high. Then, look for your integrated graphics card, such as Intel HD Graphics, and check the MSI box for it too. Also set its priority to high. Once all settings are changed correctly, click on Apply to save your settings and close the program. This step helps to reduce input delay, improve system response time, and give you better gaming performance. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Optimizing System Memory Using ISLC Program You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. 
I've provided the link in the description. The ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner program, is a helpful tool that clears RAM to make your PC run better. To begin, open the ISLC program and look at the total amount of memory shown at the top of the screen. Now set the list size to half of your total memory. For example, if your memory shows 32,000 MBMD, you should type 16,000. If it shows 16,000 MB, type 8,000. After that, check the boxes that say Start ISLC Minimized and Launch ISLC on User Logon so it will always run by itself in the background. Then on the right side, turn on Enable Custom Timer Resolution and change the value to 0.50. Now change the ISLC polling rate to 1000. But if your PC is very slow, change this number to 1000 instead. Once you finish setting everything, click on Stop, then click on Start, and finally press the Purge Standby List button. Doing all these steps helps keep your RAM free, which makes your games run more smoothly and helps remove lag and stuttering. Step 5. Reduce keyboard input delay using filter keys. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Setter in this step, you will reduce the delay that can happen when pressing keys on your keyboard. Start by opening the Filter Keys Setter program. Once it is open, change the settings like this. Set Ignore Under to 0 milliseconds. Set Repeat Delay to 130 milliseconds and set Repeat Rate to 10 milliseconds. Now check the small box on the right side to activate these settings and then press the OK button to save them. These changes will make your keyboard respond more quickly when you press a key, which is very helpful in fast-paced games like CS2. Step 6. Remove telemetry for better privacy and performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. After you download the file, open the app called ONO ShutUp10. When the program opens, only apply the recommended settings. Do not change other settings that are not recommended. If the program asks whether you want to create a restore point, you can skip it because we already created one before. Please remember that this tweak may turn off clipboard history and storage functions. If you notice any issues later, you can simply click the Undo All Changes button inside the app to bring back the previous settings. At the end, if a message appears, check the box that says Do Not Show This Message Again and click OK. Step 7. Disable unnecessary startup apps. In this final step, you will stop apps from opening by themselves when your computer starts. Press the keys Ctrl plus Shift plus E says ESC on your keyboard to open the task manager. Next, go to the tab that says Startup. You will now see a list of programs that open when your computer turns on. Go through the list and look for any apps that you do not need to run when the PC starts. Right-click on each of those apps and select the Disable option. Doing this will make your computer start faster, and it will also free up system power for games like CS2. If this full guide helped you, please click the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more performance tips and optimization guides. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.